Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Before we start, I would like to thanks all the member of Aviation A to Z family. It's really expanding faster and really happy for your great support. My aim when I started this channel was to teach at least 100 people and help them and guide them. But today I changed my aim to 1000 people and I need your support once again and I know you will do the rest. So subscribe this channel follow us on Instagram for really cool facts related with aviation So friends we all know that military is of 52 marks and it's not really easy to clear but i assure you after watching this video you will be able to clear but only after studying and little hard work So today we are discussing about the tips and tricks related to module 3 So let's get started As we go through the syllabus of CRC 6 we see there are 17 sub module topics for module 3 but remember each and every topics is important so starting with 3 point we have electron theory in this you need to remember that the electron in shell is filled by the formula 2n square also the charge on electron proton and neutron the definition and the material of ptc ntc and ztc everything is given in my notes specially made for module 3 and i have read this self made notes and got 46 out of 52 in my module exam and i want you to score the good marks as well now moving on to 3.2 we have static electricity and conduction in this you need to study about the first law of electrostatic as well as second law and about conductive wheels static discharge wicks advantages and the use of them Next comes 3.3 which is about electrical terminology which includes various definition such as emf potential difference voltage current resistance conductance charge conventional flow and electron flow Moving on to 3.4 we have generation of electricity which includes the method of production of electricity light heat friction pressure chemical magnetism and motion Also about the thermocouple, photoelectric effect, and the thermionic emission. Now about 3.5, we have DC sources of electricity, the one of the most important topic in module three. That is about batteries. In this, we have a primary cell which includes zinc, copper, and zinc carbon. Remember the voltage value, anode cathode material, charge on them, and definition of polarization. In secondary cell. we have a lead acid nickel cadmium lithium ion cells now the most appropriate book to study the battery is aircraft electricity and electronics authored by yasmin and it is so nicely given about battery so nothing much to tell because it is a vast topic next i have combined 3.6 3.7 3.8 3.9 3.10 and 3.11 which includes the most important and interesting topic such as ohms law kirchhoff's law register color coding register connected in series and parallel about wheatstone bridge the formula of the power is really important remember the different types of capacitor their uses and advantages and also connection in series and parallel about magnetism we have materials of magnet the terms such as permeability permeance reluctance field intensity and also hysteresis loop the most important is the types of magnet ferromagnetic the paramagnetism and diamagnetism also about the domain theory and molecule alignment remember the keeper bar are used to store magnets now we have inductance in this remember the faraday's laws lenz law formula of inductance and impedance the inductance when connected in series parallel is also important one important thing i want to tell you is the mass distribution is provided at the end of the video so watch till the end and i know you will as always so moving on to the middle phase we have the 3.12 and 3.13 which is about dc theory and ac theory this topic is really important in a view to understand the generator and motor remember the points to study from this topic in this we have from dc theory we have the basic working of generator and motor about the construction and purpose of different components in dc generator remember the operation of different types of dc generator also the material of different parts of generator 
such as riser is made up of copper also remember the properties and operation of series shunt and compound generator and motor now one of the most important topic to study is the losses in dc generator which includes copper loss magnetic or iron loss hysteresis loss as well as the eddy current loss also it has some mechanical losses remember stray loss is a combination of both mechanical and magnetic loss the armature reaction is one of the important topic and remember its cause and effect and is the favorite topic for dgca in 3.13 we have ac theory which includes the terms and formulas such as f is equal to pn upon 120 f is inversely proportional to time remember the terms such as instantaneous value peak value average value form factor crash factor also remember the star connection and the delta connection now where to study all this if you haven't watched my video on books for models go check it out now for detailed description about this topic but here in short the bl theresa fa 9a yasa textbook for model 3 are the core books for dgca as well as for yasa examination now moving on to 3.14 which is lcr circuit it's a special synonym given to inductor capacitor and resistor in this remember the phase relationship between voltage and current and i guarantee you that one to two question will definitely come from this topic so when will current lead or voltage lead everything is given in my notes also topics to study is power dissipation in lcr circuit different terms such as impedance true power apparent power etc to study next here 3.15 transformer it generally includes the types of transformer its construction operation and losses which i have already cover in dc generator now we have the most important topic which is 3.17 ac generator and 3.18 ac motor in ac generator you need to remember the principle operation and construction of ac generator and motor also remember that ac generator is also known as alternator the types of ac generator and ac motor which includes induction motor three phase induction motor synchronous motor universal mo motor and method used in this motors don't i didn't forget the filter circuit which is 3.16 which includes low pass high pass band pass and band stop filter circuits study the function and application of such circuits and diagram of the graph which they can ask in mcq now as i told you i will tell you the marking system at the end here it is and for the additional notes join the whatsapp group and my self made notes is in google drive all the links is in description check it out now i hope you got what i wanted to express and i know if you still watching this video here is a secret for you so the many questions i have seen that comes from the bl thereja pink highlighted words and the back questions are really important so study it thoroughly That's it for today and keep watching and I am soon making the video on the tips and tricks for the module line so stay tuned subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notification finally all the best and thanks for watching